Now this question I have taken from a homework book uh, on page 217, question number four. Mount Difficult lives uh, lives up to its name, lives up to its name. Out of 100 climbers who attempted to climb, to climb Mount Difficult, 27 person failed to reach the summit. So this is the table. So you've got male, female, total, reach, failed to reach summit and total. So it says 27 person, that is 20, it's out of 100. So it's all in terms of uh, out of 100, so it's in percent. So in other words, 27 didn't reach the summit. So the total of the people who didn't reach the summit is 27. So you can put 27 here and you can put 100 here to start with. The risk of a female climber not reaching the summit is 30%. So let me write R. The risk of female not reaching the summit is 30%. Or oh, that means 30% of the females didn't reach the summit. Okay. The next sentence, the next information is the ratio of the number of male climbers to the number of female climbers is 7 is to 3. That means 70% was ma were male and 30% were female. So 70, there were 70 male and 30 female. So you can put 70 and 30, yeah? And 30% of the female didn't reach the summit. Okay, so you got 10% of 30 is 3, so 30% would be 9. Okay, and now if this is 27, so to find the total of those who reached the summit, 27 didn't reach, so 73 reached the summit. We got this total, and this is 9. So 9 plus what is 20? 9 plus what is 30, which is 21. Okay, and you can go backwards. This is 9 plus what is 27, so this is 18. And then you can go backwards. 18 plus what is 70, which is 52. I hope the table is clear. Okay. So we have finished this, use the information to complete the table. So let's answer the first question. What's the risk of a male not reaching the summit? The risk of male not reaching the summit, this is a male and this is 18 that didn't reach the summit. So this is 18 out of 70. 18 out of 70, so let's write that as a decimal and then as a percent. So. 18 out of 70, which is 0 0.2571, 0 0.2571, which is 25.71 percent. So the risk of male not reaching the summit is 25.71 percent. Okay, now what is the relative risk of female not reaching the summit when compared to males? Now to answer this question, we're comparing with respect to male. So let's write, start making up two column. I don't want you to remember any formula, male and female. Okay. So we're talking about uh, risk of not reaching the summit. The risk of female not re male not reaching the summit is 25.71. And the risk of female not reaching the summit is 30%. So if we ask if what's if the risk of male not reaching the summit is one, how much would that be? Okay, that is a relative risk when comparing with male. So that is what it means. So well, this you have to divide this to get to one. You have to divide by 25.71. So you do the same thing to this side. So this is why people who can think in a proportional manner can learn maths. So this, any, any person with a bit of common sense can understand if we know this information, from this information we want to write the relative risk. So relative risk when comparing with male, you start with male and compare with male. So if this is 1, this is how much? So let me answer that. So that is uh, 30 divided by 25.71, which is... 1.167 1.167 so the relative risk of male sorry the female not reaching the summit when comparing with male is 1.167 so this is a relative risk okay
that's the answer. Let's answer the question. Explain what this means in word. And this is crucial. Okay, this is, you should, this, from this, you have to explain this. Of course, here yeah, you can say this is about 1.16 uh, 1 times more female is more. But you're talking about the same thing. We have to talk in a different way in terms of percent. So let's write the same thing, male and female. Okay. So we know if the risk of female not reaching the summit is 1, the risk of female not reaching the summit is 1.167. So now we're asking, if it is 100 here, if it's 100, you're all, this is all in terms of percent. If it's 100 percent, okay, if it's 100 percent, this will be your multiplied by 100, so it's 116.7 percent. So what does this mean? This means if the risk of male not reaching the summit is 100 percent, the risk of female not reaching the su summit is 116.7 uh, percent. This means the relative risk, I'll write RR, the relative risk of female not reaching the summit not reaching the summit when compared when compared to male when compared to male so you're comparing with male so we are saying if the risk of male not reaching the summit is 100% the risk of female not reaching the summit is 116.7 percent. So we can say the relative risk of female not reaching the summit when compared to male is 60. How much more percent? Uh, how much more percent do they have? So that's well, it's it's 16.7 percent, or almost 17 percent, or almost 17 percent. And this is how you should be able to talk. Uh, in terms of percentage, because that makes sense. Because here you were saying that it is more likely, or uh, there's 17% more uh, likely, or it's 17% more likely that a female climber would not reach the summit when comparing with a male climber. 